What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, share and please subscribe. What have we got today? This is something that caught my eye the back end of last year, 2023. And it's uh, an adaptation of the game Fallout. Something that I've never actually played myself. But the trailer looked pretty much okay. Something that I thought I would be interested in. And then I read this article by Vulture. So hold on to your seats everyone. Because I know that if any of you out there are fans of Fallout. Uh, you might not like what you hear. So this is from Vulture. Shout out to Vulture Online. This was uh, from January. January the 15th of this year. This is everything we know about Amazon's Fallout TV show. And there is a trailer if you want to go and watch the trailer. It's on Amazon Prime Video. So Ella Purnell, who's going to star in it, her time on Yellow Jackets may be over, but she's ready to set the world on fire in a new series for Amazon. Purnell joins Walton Goggins. You'll have seen him a lot of times. He usually plays a bad guy. He was in Ant-Man 2. He was the antagonist in that they are the stars of a new show based on a long-running fallout video game franchise which i'm sure it's got millions and millions of followers it's set in a diesel punk post nuclear wasteland just the type of thing that i like the fallout game explores issues of morality strategy and how much mad max can inspire a work before you give out an associate producer credit so director todd howard said on the lex fridman podcast and hold on to your seats folks get this the show won't directly adapt any of the games. And this is the stumbling block for me. Because they do this all the time. They take a beloved franchise. Games, movies, books, anything. And they'll say, oh, well, how can we do it differently? How can we do it so differently that everyone keeps, kicks up a, a fuss and fucking hates it? Why do you do it? Why do you not want to directly adapt any of the games? Okay, and what it says is, but instead it will go off map. We've seen things go off map before. The last couple of instances that I can think of, which were fucking cack, was The Last of Us. That went way off map, and that I thought that was shite <coughs> i thought it was badly cast and it was badly told and then you've got the likes of halo that which the fans went fucking mental over because you put a chick in it and made it fucking lame put a chick in it and make it fucking gay as fuck you know what i'm talking about and then you got master chief to take his helmet off and pushed him into the sidelines so who's to say they're not going to do that here they can put out the best trailer known to man and fool everyone into watching it thinking they're going to get something great like the game it's not going to be the truth but anyway again give them the benefit of the doubt like we always do it carries on let's go off map for this it was let's do something that exists in the world of fallout it's not retelling a game story it's basically an area of the map and let's tell a story here that fits in the world we built and doesn't break any of the rules good well don't break any of the rules because the fans will come at you and they'll come at you hard it can reference things in the games but isn't a retelling of the games it exists in the same world but it's its own unique thing so it adds to it the writer says that lisa joy and jonathan nolan will executive produce fresh from westworld getting sent to the valley beyond by hbo i quickly go through this what the fuck we where I think that's supposed to say when and where will the Fallout series take place. Various Fallout games have taken place in the irradiated ruins of California, West Virginia, Las Vegas, Boston, Washington DC. Prime Video released a tweet showing people in jumpsuits for Vault 33, which has been identified as part of Los Angeles. Within the games, LA is known as the Boneyard. By 2296, when the series takes place, the Boneyard has been civilised under New Californian Republic's flag for years. Who's going to be in the fallout? According to Variety, Purnell will be playing an upbeat and uncannily direct woman, with all-American gumption and a dangerous twinkle in her eye. So a girl power, she's going to be a boss girl. She's going to kill all the men. Great. That describes almost every female NPC in the games. Empire reports that Purnell will be a vault dweller, leaving a safe shelter for the first time ever. Aaron Morton is going to be playing Maximus, a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Goggins is playing a ghoul, humans whose flesh has melted off, owing to nuclear radiation. Sounds lovely. But there is an upside. They're essentially immortal. All three will be searching for the same McGovern. Yeah, great. I love films about MacGuffins. We've talked a lot about the good, the bad and the ugly co-creator Graham Wagner told Empire. That's three characters in search of a box of gold. So we asked ourselves, what's the gold in this world? Maybe they don't answer that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's also got Chris Parnell, Michael Emerson, Zach Cherry, Kyle McLaughlin and Zelia Mendez-Jones have also been cast as series regulars. 
Fallout will come out sometime in 2023 or 2024. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's specific. Thanks for that, you fucking dong. And then, what? How's it going to come out sometime in 2023 or 2024? And then at the end of the thing, you say, funny you should ask, Fallout comes to Prime Video April the 12th. April the 12th of this year, 2024. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is this going to be good? Is it going to be shit? Those are the two questions that need to be answered. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now. Country roads, take me